Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to my walkthrough of, well, um, mm, uh, something happened. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of messed up. I didn't hit the start button on the recording for this part, and uh, I didn't save between this part and last part, so I had to redo all the progress that I had in the last part. So that means stuff like my rupee count, my arrows, even the ship parts that I got are different. Because, you know, random drops and randomization and whatnot. But I don't think it really matters all that much because, you know, a lot of the stuff in this game is random anyway. And, well, we're pretty rich anyway. So, <laughs> anyway, let's go into the pyramid and redo this part. <laughs> so, we got a couple of keys hanging out here. It certainly looks dungeon-like, doesn't it? So let's just see here. Your resting place of the fourth night, Brant of the Cobble Kingdom. Phantom corridor ahead. Those without the way of the six sages are doomed. Doomed, I say. The sacred tree grows from the king's chin. West 13 and north 7. So I'm going to just write in the center here. And wow, that was a terrible three. Oh, that's even a... Wow. That's... <laughs> Whatever, that's good enough. Lesser 13, North 7. The path of the graveyard where the six sages dwell, hidden underground. Alright, so, now I'm going to flop over through here, because this is a little skeleton dude here. One of the few that'll talk here, actually. <laughs> actually, the only one, come to think of it. Uh, anyway, who knew it would come to this? My name is McNay. I was once a famous explorer. I entered before solving the entrance puzzle and came to the Phantom Corridor, but I could not get out. And look what happened. This maze is madness! If you don't know which way to go, you will end up and walking in circles! CIRCLES! If I keep going down, I should be able to reach the entrance. If you haven't solved the puzzle yet, find the entrance all you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like me and run out of energy. But if you're able to find the exit, curse to remain here forever. And anything else, if you keep going down, should be able to reach the entrance, fade it yourself. Okay, so basically, uh, it's a directional puzzle of sorts. You gotta go in certain orders, and you'll keep meeting up with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll, uh, yeah, I'll just be like, man, man, you have, I have to say it again, just leave this place already, you know, you do not, yeah, so basically we don't have the combination to get through here, and he's advising us to leave until we do, basically, so, we're out of here, but we do have those poorly written down coordinates on the top screen there, so I'm going to grab, my, ah, grab my shovel here, and, uh, so, okay, we count from the tree. They got these tiles that are nice right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So dig here. Voila! Woohoo! <laughs> So, he found, the, uh, well, kind of a secret, and why did they bother pointing that out? I mean, we've seen 150 cracked walls by now, so I don't think that we would not know how to unlock said cracked wall. Anyway, let's see here. Face west from the king's eye and shoot an arrow. I don't have to write this down, this is actually the progress forward for this to hit there. In fact, I could actually... Oops! <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna clear out this room too. What's in here? It's something important! It's a power gem! Heck yeah! Uh, could I destroy all these pots with a single swipe? Yes, I can! And very interesting, because they're two squares away. Uh, let's try it again. Yeah! <laughs> that saves a lot of time. Alright, so now we gotta deal with the corridor of boulders! At least that's what I like to call it. I don't know if there's really any any special name to it, but yeah, there's boulders bouncing off the walls here. And oh! They also bounce you around if they nick you. Ah! Even the slightest bit. So, uh, careful. Just, oh boy. It's e much easier when you're going with the flow of traffic. Let's just put it that way. Now I can just follow this boulder all the way through. Oh, jeez. I was watching the boulder up ahead, and the one was coming up behind. And, uh, ha. All right, we've made it. We've made it. Where do we make it to? Well, <laughs> we've made it up here. Yeah, this is where the eye is on the map, but before you shoot anything. Behold the treasure map! 
Heck yeah, baby! Ooh. Now, get your bow out. Remember, you're supposed to shoot an arrow left of the eye, which is pointing out the switch, which opens that door up there. So there we go. And now, I'm gonna avoid everything because of these three spawn, because I had to restart the save file for the aforementioned recording issue I had <laughs> that I didn't press start. Here are the rest of six ages to remember this, remember this? Those who do not know that we'll never pass the Phantom Corridor. And now that it's open, we can, ah, we can pass the Phantom Corridor. Now, a couple of these just don't have any, don't have anything written on them, they're just yeah, most of the words have been worn off and can't be read. Well, okay, they used to have something read on them, but, I mean, they have something to read on them, but not anymore! <laughs> uh, but the, there's only five or six graves here out of the uh, nine here that will actually have something that you can read. So let's start over here. Observe. I am the first sage. Go north through the first room. So I'm going to doodle uh, that right there. And also follow the arrows on these graves here to go to your next grave. I'm the second sage, go east through the second room. So just do that. And follow the arrow, go east to the next grave. Third sage, go east. You know the drill by now. <laughs> so there's a couple more here, just two more. And go north. I believe the other one is north as well. But I'll just be sure. Because this, you know, it's kind of like the only way else, yeah. <laughs> because the other one that we just seen was the grave that, you know, didn't really have... It was all wore off and all sad, and yeah, yeah. I'll read that other grave that the last grave pointed to last. So yeah, most of the stuff can't be read, blah, 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 blah. Just le illegible, but this one is... <laughs> I'm the sixth sage, the sixth room is where Brant was laid to rest. So that is what we're looking for. And now that we know how to get through the Phantom Corridor, ah! we can now go through and meet up with Brant. So let's just avoid the critters, because I don't really feel like dealing with such annoying critters. And I'm going to see what that skeleton has to say here, uh, just for kicks to see if he has something different. So I went up already. And, uh, I have he, 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 yep, 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 yep. Uh, okay, so he's basically saying the same thing. Alright, so I'm gonna go right twice, then up twice. Sound good? Good. It looks like it's the same thing, and it is basically the same thing, but oh no, no, no I'm, I'm doing the secret code. Yes. And this will lead us to a new place! <laughs> yes. Man, I think that's like a reference to the... Zelda 1 type area, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here for perhaps another walkthrough in the future. This is where the dead of the Cobble Kingdom, long ago fallen, lay at rest. I am one of four knights chosen by the king. I am the fourth knight, Brant. Those spirits you have with you, they are power, wisdom, and courage, yes? Why are the three spirits of the Ocean King with you? Uh -huh. Secrets! I see, I won't ask if you don't want to tell me. If that is all, go away. Alright. No, I'm uh, gotta, I gotta make progress. Gotta make progress. <laughs> so let's say I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell the quickest story in the world. I can't believe what happened to the Ocean King while he slept. I mean, I just basically told the whole story of like 35 parts in a single time, <laughs> like a single second or something. Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking for the Aquanine. We grew rich under the Ocean King's protection. We must do something. I believe that our King Muto has the Aquanine that you are looking for. If you explain your quest, you may convince him to give it to you. Venture forth through the door. And he opens the door. Now this is really weird here. Like, you know how you travel through the pyramid there? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'll... Do you have anything else to say here really quick? Just just out of curiosity. No, you don't. Okay, so you think that you could end up like somewhere over here on the map? No, 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 no. You end up in the middle. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Well, it is the Phantom Corridor after all. All right, so I got the Regal Necklace. It's mysterious. Well, maybe I could sell it. No, I'm just kidding. It's important. It is adorned with curious gems. So, oh, there he is again. King Motuo, the holder of the Aquanine, is not here. He is on the island that is guarded by a rock wall, the Isle of Ruins. You'll need that regal necklace to get there. That will calm the cycle onto the entrance so that your boat may pass. There, look for the third night Bremer. Got it? Oh, I thought he was going to say something different. Okay, okay. <laughs> Always got to check that sort of stuff. And you don't really have to return to your slumber if you don't want to. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so... 
Got the necklace. That means that I can leave this island now. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? Whoa, looks like you did it. How about you set sail? Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so uh, now what I'm going to do here is... Uh, hold on a sec, please. Okay, sorry about that. My family came home and I had to get them out of the room temporarily. So <laughs> I'm going to let them in after I make this part. But first, I'm going to draw a route something like that. Because there's something I'd like to get mapped out on, the island, on an island over there. And thus, I would like to get that just like for the future, so it's all marked on the map and whatnot. And then I'm gonna go around here because there's a golden frog to- oh jeez. There's a golden frog to deal with over there as well. Hopefully I'll be able to make it to that golden frog. These pirate ships, you know, I'd much rather have you board, just board me, and then I can just take care of you in a much more straightforward way, you know <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right, let's do this. Listen up, Link. We've been boarded. Exterminate those pests. That's direct order from the captain. Turn them with the bits of kill. Ah! <laughs> He's got different dialogue as you go through this over and over. So that's it. Might be worth checking out, just like Jolene. Whew, well, as usual, no problem at all. Here, Link. It's not much, but you can probably buy something. Wow, that was that was very very generous of you. <laughs> all right, here we go, Link. Let's put these water behind us and quick. Uh, uh, do I have to re really redraw my route? Do I really have to? Eh, fine. So I go up and around, I go around, yeah, da, da, da. that's good enough. <laughs> so where's that other one that I seen? Oh, there you are, little warship. I think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, it's, it's being left behind. Okay. Good, good, good. And this is the uncharted island on our map, which will now be charted when we reach it. Unless we get that weird glitch <laughs> when we're in the middle of something and then it you know, pops up and, and then I run into the island. <laughs> um, uh, well, I'll, I'll, oh, okay, they're running away, good. Now, will I encounter said glitch? We shall see. Because there are enemies that just, oh, are we going to run into it? Are we going to run into it? Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> okay. It's like we have to be right on top for the, yeah. So, I'm not going to do that right now because this is the whole other part in itself, probably, because of its difficulty, but, uh, I will... Ugh, I don't want to run into it, but I will go over to that island and dock, because that other island is going to be another two-part island sort of thing. So anyway, now, uh, going through the middle of this here, uh, I see Jolene coming, and, uh, I get the feeling we are going to have a little encounter with some new dialogue. <laughs> get out of here, Seagull. This is going to be an epic battle. We, we can have cannot afford seagull interference in our battles. I found your line back! Give up his feudal rent! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go right towards you then. Just uh, don't shoot a torpedo at me, because I'm, I'm kind of getting low on health here because those dang pirate ships. <laughs> Alright, here you go. You're gonna have the same dialogue as before, so I can just click through it, probably. Uh, looks like it. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Bring it on! <laughs> Four hits and you will be done. What if I like... Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I just thought I would try that for fun. Mm -hmm. Oh! You got me! How, how did you manage to get me? What? What? What is this craziness? Oh! I didn't mean to talk to a statue. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ah, ah. One more. One more. You know, it's kind of funny, even though you power up your sword, it still takes more hits to defeat Jolene. I mean, the, the same amount of hits to defeat Jolene, excuse me. Yeah. Guess that's why she's a mini-boss. Not affected by those cheap power-ups, I could guess, I don't know. <laughs> I have one last thing to say. Mm -hmm. You? You should really learn to give a girl a break, hear me? <laughs> and Lineback? Hey, does she look like maybe she's getting a few pimples? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> How do I have time to know stuff like that? I was in a crate. It was boring. Got me some slack, huh? Anyway, let's clear out. I want to put these water behind us as fast as I can. All right. <laughs> now, let's see if we can get that golden frog and finally head over to the Isle of Ruins. Those Jolene encounters are always fun, I swear. Uh, I mean, you know, Lineback is always saying, avoid her, avoid her, but you'd miss out on the dialogue if you avoided her, and just so much fun. Okay, now, Golden Frog is going to be popping up somewhere, so keep your eyes out 
for the rivets. Um, um, uh, uh, e. Uh, come on. <laughs> Where is it? Did I go a little too far that away? You know, south? Because I know it's around this area somewhere. There it is! There it is! Get it, get it, get it! <laughs> froggy, frog. Oh! Oh, no! You stinker! I got out of its range. Okay, so I'm gonna loop around like that. And I should get back in its range. Oh, guy orgs. Oh, no, you don't! Oh, I, I jumped too early. Oops. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back around here for that frog. Not too happy to be this low on health, though. Uh, can I just... Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. You know what? Maybe what I should do here is... Uh, oops. Menu slate. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I'm gonna dock and get myself over there a different way. Just to heal myself up. Alright, so now that I'm over here again, I'm gonna try not to run into a rock and squiggle my lines somewhere around through there. I did not have this much issue on my lost recording, <laughs> just saying. But uh, as you can tell, this, this part of the sea is pretty dangerous. If I didn't have that extra health, I would have sunk. So yeah, they're back. You stinkers and your sharp, snarly teeth. Oh, I jumped late. <laughs> Where's the frog? You... Yeah. I failed to jump at all there. Maybe the maybe they're scaring away the frog. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Okay. This is incredibly weird. <laughs> Just gonna loop around until I get this. Eventually, I'll find that frog again. I know it's around here somewhere. Just a question of where. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm just like all around it or something. Like, it's right in the center of my circles. <laughs> Get out of here. Yes. You sharks are. Aha, got you. Are a total pain. And I bet you are scaring away the frog. <laughs> Alright. Now. Loop around. Go! Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. I will not lose you again. Never again! Yes! <laughs> I can't believe I had that much difficulty. Alright. Behold the next symbol! So, let's just doodle it up here. Uh, that's pretty good. Just gotta erase a little bit here. Yeah, that's good. I, I will accept that as is. <laughs> yes. Alright, now we can finally go this away. And there's Jolene again. <laughs> Maybe I should wait for her to move out of the. Oh, she is going that way. Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to her until I noticed that I had to go that way. I was focused more on the frog than anything. So, yeah, the frog was hanging around there. I guess maybe the shark scared it off or something. Uh, am I gonna end up running into those rocks because I drew my route really close to them? Maybe. Maybe. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot everything that I see just because. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we're gonna hit that rock just for kicks. It's not gonna sink or anything like that. I'm just curious to see really if it's gonna happen. See if I get stuck on an invisible barricade. No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> so, about that twister now. That never-ending twister that just seems to happen even though there's not a storm in the area or anything like that. What? And sure enough, with the mark of the necklace or something with the proof, the tornado that protects this area is gone! <laughs> Did you see that kid? Cyclone, it just vanished. Guess that story about the necklace opening the way was true after all. Ah, the magic. The magic. <laughs> Alright, we're nearly docked. Finally! <laughs> After nearly sinking, having difficulties with a frog and guy orgs. We made it! <laughs> the Isle of Ruins. 
take a little visual tour of this place. As I said, this is going to be a two-part island, so I'm going to end up ending off the parts after this little bits of dialogue, and then, yeah, doing the next parts later, because my family's home, as I said. <laughs> what a really shaped island. This just can't be natural. I think it's safe to say that this is the Cobble Kingdom. Indeed. Indeed. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts. I made it.